Windows released an HDR calibration app? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of the other technology news and reviews. And today we're going to be talking about the latest app that comes to us from Windows in reference to the HDR calibration. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Router. More on them at the end of the video. So evidently, Windows released an HDR calibration app, and today we're going to deep dive exactly how to use it. Let's jump right in. So the new app will help you customize your screen's color. Uh, basically, one of the important factors that you or things that you need to do, uh, you know, when you're talking uh, HDR. So back in February, uh, Microsoft announced that an HDR calibration app to help Windows 11 users optimize color accuracy and consistency for gaming on their HDR displays was on its way. The app spotted by Thorat has now arrived and is available for download. So great news for you HDR screens uh, out there and the people actually have them. Uh, the app includes uh, three test patterns, which you can use to test for the darkest and brightest visible details you can see on your display, as well as its maximum brightness. Uh, you can customize how vividly colors will appear for both HDR and SDR content. So uh, that is something very interesting for, uh, you know, to have for you to have like one app or like one solution where you can calibrate both HDR as well as SDR uh, content or you know how it would show up on your HDR compatible screens. We actually have a screenshot of the app. Obviously it's on the Microsoft store, uh, but there's a catch. Uh, in order to use the app, you'll need a PC running Windows 11. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck with Windows 10, which, uh, you know, not really stuck. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I don't generally like the look and feel of, of Windows 11 personally, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, in order to use the app, you need a Windows 11 and an HDR compatible display, obviously, uh, with HDR turned on. In terms of GPU, you'll need an AMD RX 400 series or later. So, um, I mean, at this point, it's, uh, you know, it's a pretty cheap graphics card. Uh, an AMD Ryzen processor. Uh, I'm assuming that's any of the generations. So even a first generation Ryzen will do uh, with Radeon graphics. Uh, an Intel 11th gen CPU. Um, yeah, uh, that might be not as cheap. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, it's 11th gen that we're talking about in terms of Intel. Um, 12th gen is the latest one that's available in the market and 13th uh, gen is, you know, just around the corner in terms of its release. So um, there's definitely a lot of cheaper options out there from Intel. It's just that they're not compatible with the app, at least at this time. Um, or later with an integrated graphics and Intel GGI or later. Uh, or an NVIDIA GTX 10 series or later. So, I mean, 10 series graphics cards at this point, you know, they're fairly cheap too. Um, very decent cards, very powerful. So, uh, you know, if you have them, uh, good for you. If not, I mean, just, uh, and you know, you, you wanna like get one just for the sake of uh, being able to use or uh, calibrate using this app. But yeah, just stick with the 10 series. Yeah, it's, uh, it's more than capable of getting the job done. Uh, your display needs to be running uh, the WDDDM or WDDM 2.7 display driver or later. It's uh, so now we're talking about the software side of things. Um, uh, check Windows update to make sure you have all the latest drivers. So Windows will uh, take care of all that for you. You know, all the drivers are up to date and uh, that should basically be a breeze. Um, so we have a screenshot of the app itself. Uh, so how exactly would you go about using the app and uh, calibrating, um, you know, your screen? So open up the Microsoft Store first and foremost. Uh, search for the Windows HDR Calibration app. That's the exact name, Windows HDR Calibration. Uh, it should be the first result that comes up. Um, once you click on Get, uh, make sure that the HDR setting is on. In order to do that, uh, you would go to Settings on your Windows, uh, click on Display, and then under HDR, uh, you would simply you know, toggle it on. Uh, click the Windows logo, then All Apps, uh, then go to Windows HDR Calibration, or you know, like just hit the um, Windows key on your keyboard and uh, you know, search for the app that way. Uh, make sure the app opens on your HDR capable display if you have multiple displays, uh, and uh, make sure it's running full screen. This is very important. Obviously, it needs to be open on the screen that you want to calibrate in case you have multiple. And in order to 
calibrated accurately, you need to ensure that the app is maximized or in full screen mode uh, once it's on said screen. Uh, from here, you'll choose which te uh, test patterns uh, you want to use and drag the slider to customize your display's look. Make sure you're using the app in the same area and lighting uh, where you'll normally use your display. If you replace your display or move it to a different area, uh, you may want to recalibrate. Obviously, that makes sense. Uh, even if you know uh, the place or the area that you use your screen uh, does not change, uh, but the lighting does. For example, calibrating it in a darker room with no lights on versus um, you know a brighter room with like lots of natural sunlight coming in or you know lots of fluorescent lights going on in the room. Uh, obviously, um, then that can make. Uh, a significant difference a, a lighting itself you know just the surrounding can have a huge impact so make sure when you're going about calibrating the app or the screen uh, using the app just make sure uh, the conditions surrounding the screen are basically as close to if not identical uh, to what your usual routine would allow but yeah uh, seeing a utility from Windows that definitely makes it um, you know easier and buy a lot rather than um, you know going out and uh, buying dedicated hardware uh, level calibration tools or you know simply just relying on the HDR on and off toggle that we previously had in Windows so definitely a step up you know it's basically an added benefit an extra feature that we can use to I don't know uh, get more accuracy out of our displays but yeah that's just my thoughts let me know yours down in the comment section below Clean Router is the only router you will ever need because it allows parents to easily manage all the devices in their homes and stop internet pornography. It's simple and easy to use, doesn't slow down the internet, and allows you to block pornography, gambling, and anything else that you don't want your kids to see using the 7 layer IntelliFilter. Logs all activities per device. It also allows you to put time restrictions, get email reports, and gives you the ability to block content by keywords and even filters YouTube. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.